The recluse isn't what it once was, but that doesn't mean it can't be something else or even something better. However, let's be honest here, Master of Arms is absolutely sh**. It's down from what was a 50% damage increase to now a measly 15% and it feels like a pea shooter. Yes, the nostalgia hits hard and don't get me wrong, I'll be keeping the curated role which drops from the Arsite quest just to enhance it and slap on the old ornament to relive its glory days in the Crucible, but you can do so much better, so let's quickly talk about it. The Recluse is one of the first weapons you can get from the Into the Light update in Destiny 2 and it drops like candy from the Onslaught playlist, especially if you attune it at the hollow projection of Shax in the Hall of Champions. It is the original OG 900 RPM Void Energy Lightweight Frame Melting Machine SMG and it's had a significant stat boost over its original version in Season of the Drifter. SMGs are still incredibly popular and generally have a good spot in the sandbox, with them often being top picks in the seasonal artifact for anti-champion. One of the first perk combos to talk about though is Repulsive Brace along with Destabilizing Rounds. All Void lovers out there will be screaming into the Void for this combo, however it isn't unique to it, because if you played the most recent Guardian games, the title SMG could drop with this role and guess what? With the final shape, that too will also be enhanceable, and so to me this doesn't hold much weight in terms of a chase for the recluse. That is, unless you don't have it. Plus, you can get volatile rounds through the void subclass with the echo of instability with grenade final blows, so that is our next focus. The origin trait makes the recluse a standout pick in my opinion. With a light subclass equipped, final blows will grant grenade energy, and with a dark subclass equipped, final blows will grant melee energy. This instantly screams void subclass synergy, with one effect in particular, and that is devour. The origin trait is basically a mini version of demolitionist, and grants 5% grenade energy, with devour granting a minimum of 7.5% grenade energy depending on the tier of enemy that you defeat, on top of the awesome health regeneration it offers. This makes it absolutely perfect for Void Grenade heavy builds, especially on Warlocks with Controverse Holds, Briar Binds, Second Filaments, and even Nezarak Sin going particularly hard. So because of that, you'll need to hunt down some perk combos on the Recluse which are going to hit the spot in terms of consistent and top tier damage output. I think you want to look at Enlightened Action or Threat Detector for the excellent stat boost these offer to handling and reload speeds in the third perk column. Then in the final column, we've got some top perk choices including Frenzy, Target Lock and Surrounded. Surrounded does look real nice for a 40% damage boost to be honest and can be great if you get Devour rolling, but it has a few too many dependencies involving the amount of enemies nearby and can have significant downtime. This is why I think you really need to be considering the new Into the Light perk, Desperate Measures. This has perfect synergy with the ability focus synergy we've already gone through, but at a base level it'll buff damage by 10% on any final blow with the Recluse. However, on a grenade or melee final blow, it'll boost it to 20 or 30% respectively, and the bonus here is that it can be indefinitely topped up on further final blows by the weapon itself. This is going to give you great damage dealing potential, maximise ability uptime, and as an added bonus it'll even activate whilst it's stored, so it'll be ready for you when you're ready to whip out your recluse. All in all, it is a great weapon, with some excellent build crafting synergy, and although it won't hold a candle to the old recluse, this new one has a ton more potential, especially when you'll be able to enhance the perks in the final shape. I hope you enjoyed this god roll breakdown of one of Destiny's most iconic weapons. Your ongoing support is greatly appreciated. If you've been here before, consider subscribing or even joining our fellow members to get some bonus goodies to show off in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which you can click right here.